seatbelt fastened for the duration of the flight. Return seat back from tray table to the airbag in locked position. So I'm on my way to my uncle's house right now. Um, I hope he's home. I should have called him because I I forgot to. But here it is. It's Vancouver. Samantha. Hi. The festival started 13 years ago, and Quentin, me, and Justin Lin was our very first filmmakers. <laughs> and we had to fly them in, so it was like we had no budget, no anything, but uh, we got them there, and it started. Now, 13 years later, we had the big economic crisis, so our corporate funding was cut like 80%. So this year was really a tough year, and uh, we're no longer on the government um, granting agency for the federal government. We got City of Vancouver, thank God for City of Vancouver. Um, BC government cut us as well. So what happens is when you're, and then the corporate, the whole financial crisis, what got sliced was our marketing. We try to, we try to keep everything for the filmmakers because we know how tough it is for them. But, uh, so we're hoping the people will show. But, you know, it's just been a tough economy. But the films are fantastic. Like, I'd probably say this is one of our strongest years ever. So I'm so happy with the type of films that are being made. When we first started, it was sort of identity crisis, Asians living in two worlds. Now it's like, this is who we are. We live in North America, and this, listen to our stories. I have, of course I've seen it. Um, no, it's just such a fun film, right? And, and it's nice that it's a point of view of a female, because you know, you always get that other point of view like all the time, so it's actually kind of nice that you know, it changes things up a bit, so I really enjoyed that about it. And plus it's just funny. We actually came up with a genre after. I, I knew I was making comedy, and it's actually my first comedy. All my other stuff is very depressing <laughs> and serious, like me. So, but this is like, I don't know if it's successful or not, but I guess if you guys laugh, then it's probably okay. Um, yeah, so, so actually, and then, and then we know, I know I'm, we know we, I, what I'm talking about. I know we were making comedy, and, um, but how to later on, like, kind of like, um, categorize it, you know. We start off as a sex comedy. So it's actually more kind of sex comedy, but a female sex comedy. It's kind of like Porky's, but with Karen in it. Because so, me and Karen, we were friends, and she was in Bella Tomorrow, and that's how we met, because my friend made that picture, that movie. And we were just, a few years later, we were just hanging out, and we just felt like, oh my god, we're like losers, we, have no, we don't have a career, and blah, blah, blah. So I thought, well, why don't we do something together? So we sort of came up with this idea, and I got, um, my screenwriter Koji on board, and then and, and, and my producer Stanley, and the four of us kind of developed this project. I think a lot of people think that there's so much power in money and economics, but there's nothing more powerful than media. The power of media, the power of changing attitudes, the power of getting people to understand a community, and that's and to do it is through film, video, and the arts. 